with the upcoming elections happening on the 4th and 5th of March, I sat down with Evan Fall, running for president of next year's student union. So, Evan, what made you want to run for SU president? I believe that uh, St. Pat's needs a better representation up in Glass Nevin, and I would like to be the person that brings the Pat's experience up to Glass Nevin and actually you know, represents all three campuses rather than just one exclusive campus. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And um, what do you feel is missing in this year's SU that maybe you could bring next year if you were elected? Um, well, I was, I'm, I'm very happy with the people who are in the SU because leading up to the elections, I was talking to them and they were very, very good in helping me out with the campaign, even though like I'm running against two of them, which just goes to show it's a testament to their characters. But I feel there could be further engagement with the students because there's a very little presence of the SU in Pats, and I know it's very difficult because they're very busy people, but I would like to see further engagement. Perfect. Um, what do you think are the most important issues for students at the moment? There are several issues, and I do cover some of them in my manifesto, but at the moment I would imagine accommodation is probably one of the biggest, because the rent hike has been introduced uh, just there recently, so that's a very topical one. But even across all three campuses, uh, facilities, uh, placement is a big one, because uh, it's integral to almost every f uh, faculty in the college, so that is, a better, that is an issue I would like to uh, improve the supports in and actually make the experience better for students. Sure. And um, with the rise in accommodation, how would you plan on combating this issue if elected? I think it needs to be combated at a national level because there's very little we can do by ourselves. Considering that the 4% raise has been nationwide, I think we should lobby with other students' unions across Ireland and actually lobby the government. Sure. And do you want to run us through your manifesto a little bit? No problem. <laughs> uh, my manifesto is established on four points that affect all three campuses. The first one would be facilities, because all three campuses are lacking uh, basic facilities such as functional water fountains, uh, extra seating, uh, desks, especially in like, peak library times and exams, uh, along with more convenient uh, amenities like microwaves, uh, phone charging stations and uh, just, just general uh, facilities. Uh, my second point is placement because as a past student I'm, I'm versed in the placement for teachers and I know nurses and intra so there's a lot of placement that goes on around and people have said to me that they're left to their own devices uh, when they get into placement which is the last thing you'd want whenever you're entering the workforce for the first time. So I'm looking to bring in better supports and actually tailor a care package system for students entering the workplace. So, which would offer nutritional guides, uh, basic physical and mental exercises, uh, promoting just mindfulness and healthy sleeping for people like entering the workforce, just to actually give them a bit of structure because it can be hard when you have assignments and work and are still doing a part-time job at the weekend. So it, it's, it's very hard to manage as a student. Sure. And um, finally, why should students vote for you? That's a good question. Uh, I would like to say that I'm a very approachable person and I, I, I look forward to engaging with people, even on the campaign trail. I, I love talking to people. It's, it is the gift of the gab. So uh, I would like to say that I bring a friendly demeanour to the role. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank and you very best much. of luck. Cheers.